Okay, so first we're talking about inelastic collisions. So these are collisions where things stick together. The formula for an inelastic, in, inelastic collision is this. So mass, 1, velocity, 1, plus, and we're going to put that in parentheses, mass, 2, velocity, 2, in parentheses, equals mass and velocity. And we're going to write final, or F, underneath each of these. So here's what these mean. So mass 1, velocity 1. So m1, velocity 1. So this is the momentum of first object. So mass 1, velocity 1, this equals mass times velocity. Alright, the second one, mass 2, and I'll, I'll move over so you guys can see that. So the momentum of the first object. Remember, momentum is mass times velocity. So you're using the exact same equation that you used before. So m2 and v2 is still equal to mass times velocity. All right? And this is the momentum of the second object. That's why there are sub twos down there. So momentum of second object. All right, so remember, we're talking about two things hitting each other, and then it's inelastic, so they're sticking together, okay? So then we have MF and VF, and that's the total mass times final velocity. Okay, the total mass, and I'm going to draw a line underneath this, total mass is m1 plus m2, m1 plus m2, and this all looks very mathy right now, but it's going to make way more sense when you're doing the problem, and the final velocity is 